Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Because it's the summer and it is hot and everyone is kind of loopy all the time, this week we're doing the Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. So if you want to learn a bit about this book and how to do this look, keep on watching. So for foundation this time, it's obviously going to be love because the entire premise of the play is based on love. How ridiculous and ludicrous it is at times and how irrational and instantaneous it might be. So go ahead and cover your brushes with an even layer of love to set the backdrop for the most perfect romantic comedy. And now for brows, just to give the story a bit more structure, the main characters in this particular play are all people of arts, cultured people. And it is because they are cultured and quite logical and educated normally that makes this play so great, because we get to see how love eclipses all of those inhibitions. And now for the fun stuff, which is the different versions of reality represented in this play. First up, we have the mortal world, which is represented by this lovely shade of pale beige called Reflection. All of our beloved main characters are of the mortal world, even though they might not always stay there for the entirety of the play. Next up, we have the shade Mirror, which represents the world of fairies, who are the mischievous little things that cause all this love confusion in the first place by sprinkling dust into the eyes of the character. So coat your eyes with a nice layer of mirror and let's see how the rest of the story goes. Now coat your inner corners and inner half lids with Dream On for all the dream sequences in this play. And there are quite a bit of them because even the characters are unsure of whether or not this is all a dream. And now for the truth, aka what the audience sees and knows, because the most important character in a play isn't the people on stage, it's the audience and what we know. We see things and make connections that the characters in the play do not, and the playwrights have to consider that as a major part of the play. So give the entire play some depth and coat your outer corners with a nice thick layer of truth. Now, tightline your eyes with a dark midnight blue to signify that the entire play takes place during one frenzied summer night. Here, the lashes are going to represent man and the natural world. We're not always sure of where they fall in relation to each other. Sometimes humans like to think they're part of nature, but sometimes nature seems just about as strange and otherworldly as it can get. So put on some falsies for the blurred line between man and nature. For foolishness and folly, we are going in with some cream blush because as intelligent and logical as humans are, we do some pretty dumb things in the light of want and desire sometimes, so don't be afraid to layer it on. And underneath all this lighthearted fancy, there's a tense battle between the genders. A daughter fights her father for the right to choose her husband, and the king and queen of fairies are essentially at war. So give the entire story a bit more dimension by contouring your cheeks. And finally, for the supernatural, we're going to go in with this awesome metallic gold lipstick, but in this play, magic is more than just Cupid's bow and fairy dust. There's a simpler magic shown in love and poetry, in nature and art. And just for some added fun, because I thought it would fit this look, I decided to put on some false freckles, so yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. As always, I'm sorry for the sporadic updates. I recently contracted an eye infection, so last week I couldn't film anything because like I was blind out of one of my eyes, but now it's all better, hopefully, so I will be able to put out content hopefully more consistently. If you guys like what you see, please leave a comment below or come find me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, all of which will be linked below or 
just on screen. Um, this look is kind of, I don't know, I was just kind of going with it because Midsummer Night's Dream is kind of like, it's shorter of Shakespeare's works and it's kind of like, it's just kind of on a whim. Everyone's kind of dreaming and in love and it's really ridiculous to a certain extent. So it was a lot of fun to just kind of tour around and you know, it's been forever since I wore false lashes. It took like half an hour to get on, but we did it. We made it. If you guys have any suggestions as to what we should do next, I say we, um, it's just me, I'm one person. Let me know. And yeah, I mean, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see here, don't forget to hit subscribe. It's usually here. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.